China has a millennia-old tradition of emphasizing agriculture. From ancient agricultural ceremonies, praying for good weather and bumper harvest, to building up China's strength in agriculture, highlighted in the report to the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, China has long been leading the world in terms of quantity and value of agricultural output since 1983. According to the latest FAO forecast, estimated global cereal output in 2022 would stand at 2.768 billion tons. At 630 million tons in 2021, China accounts for 22% of the total and ranks number one worldwide. In terms of per capita grain possession, China stands at about 447 kilograms, which, along with its per capita possession of meat, aquatic products, fruits, and vegetables, is significantly higher than the global average. But to build up China's strength in agriculture, apart from a substantial increase in total production, it is imperative to bring the quality of agricultural development to a new level. The last decade has seen a fundamental change in agricultural production methods due to the massive application of digital technology, coupled with the Chinese government's strong promotion of agricultural mechanization. For example, in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, which is the largest cotton-producing region in China, more than 2.5 million hectares of cotton have been planted in 2022, with over 80% being mechanically harvested. This means that 2 million hectares of cotton are mechanically harvested, quintupling the 370,000 hectares in 2012 in a short period of 10 years. In the next few years, the share of mechanically harvested cotton will reach 100%. In addition to cotton harvesting, in the process of field crop production, plant protection operations via drones is over a hundred times more efficient than manual labor. More importantly, smart plant breeding driven by big data has seen a rapid increase and has reduced the breeding time from 10 years to 5 years or even shorter. Also, the modalities of agricultural production, operation, management and organization all call for additional upgrades. With the simultaneous development of the new industrialization, digital applications, urbanization, and agricultural modernization with Chinese characteristics, China's agricultural sector is transitioning from the production method made of small holder farming that has been lasting for thousands of years to modern agricultural production models. Next, building up China's strength in agriculture also relies on breakthroughs in science, technology, and talent supply. Young people might play a greater role in innovating in agricultural science and technology. Only in doing so can productivity increase be sustainable. It is also necessary to keep raising financial investment in agriculture and rural areas. For example, the transformation and upgrading of farmland infrastructures, the improvement of the agricultural R&D capacity, and the upgrading of agricultural machinery all require continued investment. Last but not least, building China's strength in agriculture also needs wider and deeper opening up with an international outlook. And both germplasm resources and agricultural science and technology innovation need a more open market, especially at the institutional level of rules and management. Agriculture is the bedrock of economic and social stability. As the world is facing severe food crisis, China's efforts to build its agricultural strength and ensure food supply remains firmly in its own hands has momentous significance, not only for China, but also for the world.